I'm Jimi Hendrick, and this episode is called The Natural Man and Loneliness on Saints Peace. Welcome to Saints Peace. Hello, welcome to Saints Peace. Today, we're going to be covering a vital subject, the natural man and loneliness. Okay, and with that, we're going to go to Genesis chapter 2. God had created all these things, including man, which in in H1 he said was good, but then verse 18 this is where God sees natural man in the Garden of Eden. Okay? I want you to see this. Verse 18 says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Now, For this purpose, um, he's sending a helper uh, worthy of him. (coughs) It means, you know, the ideal solution for man being alone in loneliness is marriage. I understand that. But say you're in a place, a position where that opportunity is not there. Well then, here's something that the Savior said that might be of some some comfort to you. Okay? Because I want you to think about this. Verse 13. This is where companionship comes. Where this keeps us within the covenant path of Christ. Beginning in uh, John verses 6. Chapter 16 verses 13 14. Is where it all starts. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall not glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. Okay, so that's that's something. Now I'm going to go to verse 18. I want you to look at this. Well, I'm trying to get this crazy thing to cooperate. And right now it's being difficult. 
cell phones, you know. Oh, we're just going back to use regular scripture. But I want you to think about this. He doesn't leave us comfortless. He doesn't. I want you to think about this. Okay, we're going to go back to John chapter 14. Some more regu- re- uh, revelation, if you will. Okay. Okay, verse 16. This is some wisdom here. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. Who's the Spirit of Truth. I want you to think about that. What is his purpose? To love us. John chapter 14, verse 18. That's the verse I want to talk about. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean when Jesus says that? Because, you see, here's the thing. Here's the problem. When we feel lonely sometimes, the natural man... Is God going to want to tell you that you're a loser and you're bad or you don't belong or, or you're cursed just because of how lonely you are? But John 16 verse 32 says, Behold, that I will come, yea, it is now it is come. Oh, that's what Jesus is talking about. Okay, well, we know that. But he comes to us. Okay, think about that. What he does. Now, I want you to think about what that should mean for you. The the Lord understands us, knows us, and loves us. So, who, let me ask you this who are we to think? That we should cave in to the natural end. I want you to think about that. Because we have somebody. We have somebody that, that Christ has picked to come be with us. Yeah, but would I like to be with people? I'm a social butterfly. But you know something? That's why we need Jesus through the Holy Ghost. It's this it, answer. Now, if you got a, if you got a spouse, great. I'm happy for you. What you got to do is not give into the natural man. If you have a need, you just, just talk. You know, finally talk it reactive, less reactively and more calm. Now, verse chapter sixteen, verse thirteen says. How be it, when he, the Spirit, uh, he will guide you in all truth. See, the Comforter is there to teach us and bring us to remembrance of him. Okay? And I'll tell you something. It can be easy to feel lonely. You don't know how many times I have cried out, Heavenly Father, I'll ask him to send somebody to take it away. But I've also known times when 
have to say, you know what, my father? Uh, I'm just going to hang in there and believe with all my heart that you're in control. Just really do that. Just pray with all your heart. I want to pray for those of you who are battling, are battling loneliness. Because the devil can sometimes send the natural man to think that you don't fit in, that nobody cares. Let's see who really cares. If you're driving, please pull over, press pause, pull on the side of the road, and then afterwards, afterwards I want you to, to join me in this prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank Thee for this day. I thank Thee for the opportunity to this day. So on Sunday, we renew our covenants. We miss our, we deal with our blessing. The natural man loves to attack us, and my father, when we're lonely. My goodness, I think there's no one that can help. But when no one is, is there, we have to realize that our hope is in thee alone. And we know this with all our heart. We say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I hope you enjoy listening. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Saints Peace. Just give me saying until next time, remember who you are, read your scriptures, and please, please, please preach the gospel. God bless you. Remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jenny loves you. I really love you. God bless you.